Hello and welcome. In this demo, I'll show you how Wavefront Service Maps enables SREs and developers to understand microservice dependencies, isolate relevant microservices for any request, and hence quickly troubleshoot issues. So let's take the scenario that you received an alert which says that AutoShirts API is experiencing high response time. Now I know AutoShirts API is part of shopping service, so in Wavefront, I can quickly see all the traces for AutoShirts API. Here on the left hand side, I can see all the traces for AutoShirts API. Uh, I can scroll through them and I do see that there are certain traces which are resulting in an error. When I click on a particular trace, on the right hand side, I can see the corresponding service map. Let's enlarge that. Looking at the service map, I can tell that when a request came to shopping service, there were many other services in the background that were called by the shopping service to fulfill that request. For example, shopping service called styling service, inventory service, payment service, and inventory service further called warehouse service, and so on and so forth. There are also certain services that are grayed out in this service map, which show that these services like delivery and notification were not called in this particular request. So you can easily figure out which services were involved in a given request and which were not called in that particular request. Also, you can see the red metrics, the request error and duration metrics for each of these services in the same view. So I can click on uh, a particular service like styling service and see the request error and duration metrics for each of these services. And then, I can easily drill down into the detail trace view that I'll talk about in just a bit. Let's first go back to the scenario where you received an alert and you need to investigate why is order shirts taking that long time. So let's sort these traces based on longest first. Here I do see that there is a trace for order shirts which is taking around 13.84 seconds which is a quite a long time. So I can click on that trace and I will see the corresponding service map on the right hand side. So here I can see that when a request came to shopping service, uh, there were many other microservices like styling, delivery, payments uh, that, were, that were called in the background, styling called itself, many other microservices. So I can see all the services that were involved in this particular request. I can also see the red metrics for each of these services. For instance, I can see that uh, shopping service is experiencing around 134 errors. Uh, so that is something that the service owner should look into. Furthermore, to understand why or where is this 13.84 seconds being taken, which microservice is taking that long time, I can understand that by drilling into the detail trace view. So let's enlarge that. In the detail trace view, I can see that yes, uh, a request came to order shirts, which took around 13.84 seconds, but it wasn't the shopping service that was responsible for those 13.84 seconds because it called many other microservices in the background. Shopping service called payment service, styling service. And if I look at the trace view and I look at the critical path here, I can see that packaging service took around 7.47 seconds. That's almost half of the entire response time. So it's not the shopping service that is responsible for the long response time. It is actually the packaging service that is taking more than half of the total response time. So you need to drill down into packaging service to understand what is going on. I can easily click on the packaging service look through the various tags for the packaging service right here to investigate what's going on. In fact, I can even directly click to the packaging services dashboard and see various metrics for the packaging service to understand what's going on there. So in this demo, you saw how with Wavefront distributed tracing and service maps, you can easily search for long traces visualize service dependencies for each of the traces and pinpoint which microservice is responsible for the long response time and needs optimization. For more information, check out our free trial. Thanks for watching.